Hello, cooperating teachers. I am Melissa Ludke, a teacher in the School of Education, and we in the School of Education at St. Mary's have prepared a few slides about the student teaching experience. It's our hope that being a cooperating teacher is positive for you and for your students. You are a major part of preparing future teachers who, like you, will influence hundreds of students. We work hard to prepare our teacher candidates to be the best they can be and to be trained in best practices, but we know that it is in your classroom with your guidance and with your students that they learn what teaching is really about. Thank you for allowing them to be a part of your teaching team. There are a few things that we emphasize at St. Mary's when preparing our teacher candidates, regardless of the grade level or subject they teach. We teach our candidates that they must get to know their students as people and as learners because they will plan their teaching based on that knowledge. We teach them to use big ideas that help students think critically so they can go beyond memorizing information to application and higher levels of learning. We teach them that students learn best when they are active and not passive learners and that they must plan instruction that differentiates for students since students will be at many ability levels and have varied interests. They learn that assessment is almost continual and that formative assessment data guides the decisions they make for future teaching. And they learn that a positive learning environment is a place where every student feels safe and able to learn. We hope that you see our students applying what they have learned in these areas in your classroom. Every St. Mary's teacher candidate has lots of experience in lesson planning. We use the LCIM format, Learner Centered Instructional Model, which emphasizes activating student interest and focus with an effective hook and a clear objective, making sure students have the prior knowledge they need to be successful in the lesson, strong modeling by the teacher, active involvement and practice by the students, and finally a strong closure that ties the entire lesson together. Throughout the lesson there should be many opportunities for assessment so that the teacher candidate knows what students are understanding and where they may be lost or confused. We know that not every lesson every day will have all of these parts, but we want our students to see the full circle of an effective lesson, one where everything ties back to the objective. When they understand what a great lesson looks like, they will know when it's okay to be flexible and change things when that is best for students. We hope that our teacher candidates will be involved in your classroom the first day they walk through the door. In the beginning, little things like taking attendance, working with individual students or small groups, or doing other routine tasks can get them off to a good start. It's also important that they get to know students right away. We hope that they won't be sitting in the back of the room too much. Sometimes that can make the transition to teaching more difficult for them and for your students. When you think they are ready, they can begin to mirror some of your teaching or teach here and there throughout the day. After only a few weeks, they will be doing their TPA teaching. At that time, it's very important that they do not have other planning to think about. The TPA process is quite intensive. When that series of lessons is finished, you and the teacher candidate can decide how they will increase their teaching, gradually building up to the two-week minimum full-time teaching experience. At the end of their time with you, they will fade out, giving classes back to you and possibly observing other teachers in your school. Other than the TPA week and the two weeks of required full-time teaching, this process is very flexible and you can decide what will work best for you and your students. The TPA, Teacher Performance Assessment, is a state required assessment where our teacher candidates show what they know. They teach one class or subject for three to five consecutive days. During that time they plan the lessons, teach the lessons, videotape their teaching, and reflect on how things went. The video on written lessons and reflection are sent to the state for evaluation. Your biggest role at the TPA is helping our student decide what class or subject and what material will be used to teach the lessons. All other arrangements, permission slips, videotaping, etc., will be done through our students' capstone class here at St. Mary's. It's important that whatever is taught during this time can include active student engagement, since this is both required by the state and encouraged by St. Mary's. SMU students have two full days here on campus to prepare for the TPA, one to plan the lessons, and a second day to write the reflective material. The TPA, while intensive, should not get in the way of student teaching. These two days have been built into the schedule just for that purpose. Our students know that preparing for your students and your classroom 
is always the number one priority. This rubric from EdTPA emphasizes the importance of active student engagement in the TPA process. We have high expectations for our teacher candidates. They should be involved from the first day they enter your classroom. They should show initiative. They should have a strong work ethic and be prepared for anything you ask them to do. We have taught them that teaching is hard work and will involve many hours of time outside of school. You should see that they are giving 100%. If you don't, please don't hesitate to contact the university supervisor. You deserve no less than their very best efforts. Probably the most important thing during the student teaching experience is open communication. Please be very free to make your expectations to our students clear and communicate with them often. It's nice when they receive positive feedback about what they are doing well, but don't be afraid to be direct when things need to change. Sometimes teachers are a bit uneasy talking to students about their weak areas and let things go, hoping it will get better. We have found that to be direct and to talk to them early works the best. That way they have no misunderstandings about what they should be doing. If you are ever uncomfortable talking to your student teacher about anything and would like the university supervisor to step in, you only need to let them know. They are more than happy to help at any time and they will keep things confidential if you ask. As I said earlier, we hope that our teacher candidates are very prepared to be in your classroom and we hope they are a help to you. However, it's important to remember that they are beginning teachers. They don't have lots of experience yet, and they are just learning. I think when all of us think back to our own student teaching and even our first year of teaching, we remember how much we had to learn. We appreciate you understanding that they are really trying to figure this all out, and we believe they will try their hardest to do that. Thanks for supporting them. You, the cooperating teacher, play a huge role in preparing our teacher candidates to be effective teacher leaders. Your guidance and mentoring build their confidence and abilities. We at St. Mary's are so grateful that you are willing to share your wisdom, your students, and your classroom with our students. Thank you, thank you, thank you.